Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about downloading the latest and the greatest version of CSI Linux. And once we've done the installation of CSI Linux, we're then going to do a high-level overview of some of the new features that are available to us up inside of this new version. Now to get to the download page, you can open up any browser. You can then open up a search engine. And in that search bar, you can just type in CSI Linux or CSI Linux download, and it'll take you right to the download page for CSI Linux. Now, I cannot overstate enough that when you're up here on this download site for CSI Linux, that you read everything that is posted on the download page. CSI Linux now comes with two modes of secure communication. The first one is the CSI Tor VPN. If you want another layer of security, that is to say a different layer of security, you can use the CSI Gateway app, which now points to the Hunix Gateway. CSI Linux is now configured to point to it if that is what you want for secure communication. And you can also add a VPN or Tor Gateway to your network router for a second external layer of security. To download CSI Linux, the latest version, go down to the gray bar at the bottom. Over on the right, you're going to see where it says CSI Linux 2021.2 Virtual Appliance. There's a number of different download options you have. I prefer the direct download method, but you can use the Dropbox download method, a torrent, or a magnet link to download. This is a large download of almost 9 gigabytes in size, so make sure you're going to use a download manager. I recommend that you use the free download manager as it works great and it is free. Now to do that, all you got to do is click on the direct download. Now I'm going to assume that you have installed the free download manager. So I'm going to go ahead and select the direct download method. That brings up the download itself. Where it says to open with, I'm going to go ahead and check that option. Pull down this window here, and I'm going to scroll on down until I come to other. From here, I'm going to scroll on down until I don't find what I'm looking for, and then I'm going to click on the browse button. From here, I'm going to scroll on down until I come to the folder for free download manager up inside of my program files. Open that up. Open it up one more time. Scroll on down until I come to the executable entitled fdm.exe. Go ahead and just double click it, just like that. And now this download is associated with the free download manager. Let's watch what happens. When I say OK, free download manager is going to pop up and it's going to begin the actual download. The download using the free download manager is much quicker. But the best thing about it is that if you get disconnected because you have an unreliable network connection, Free Download Manager will pick up the download right where it left off. Once the download is complete, inside of Download Manager, over here where you have this folder icon, just go ahead and open that up. And you're going to find that download for CSI Linux 2021.2 OVA. You're then just going to double click it. The file is automatically going to associate itself with VirtualBox. VirtualBox is going to open up and you have the option to import this file as a virtual appliance. There is no further configuration needed. Just go ahead and accept the defaults. Click on the button that says import. You have to accept the agreement. Click on agree. That begins the importation process for CSI Linux, the latest version, 2021.2. Now once the installation process has completed, find your installation over in the left-hand window pane of VirtualBox, and then go ahead and launch. Give it a few minutes. You're going to log on with the username CSI and the password CSI, all lowercase. This is a clean install of CSI Linux, so this would be a good time to go ahead and take a snapshot. To do this, just go up to where it says machine, 
From machine, you're going to scroll on down in the context menu until you come to Take Snapshot. Give it a user-friendly name and say OK. With a clean install and a snapshot taken, we can now roll back to our default installation of CSI Linux if and when we need to. As always with these Linux installations, we only get the default build. To complete the installation of CSI Linux, we need to perform an update. To do this, we're going to launch a terminal, and at the terminal, let me go ahead and improve the font size here. And at the terminal, we're going to type in the word power up. Hit enter, and CSI Linux will now perform an update and an upgrade if needed. Since we are not logged on as root, we must type in our CSI password, which is CSI, all lowercase. Hit enter. As I stated, this is a big download, so make sure that you understand how much time it's going to take, and CSI is going to remind you of that. So read the warning and say OK. So I've already updated my installation at least once, and so it's not going to find anything new to install. CSI Linux will automatically reboot once it has completed the installation of the updates. We're back up. Let's go ahead and log in. Now some of the other great features that are available up inside of this new installation, you're going to find up here in the application launcher. So you can go over here to the left, click on the application launcher. There we go. Slow to launch, but it will launch. And then you can start going through all these different tools and you can play around and see exactly what's going on in here. Again, you have access to the CSI Tor VPN and the CSI gateway. Now, you cannot use the gateway without first having a Hunix gateway installed. So up inside of VirtualBox, all you have to do is just import that Hunix gateway. CSI is already configured with that gateway address, but make sure that you have the gateway opened up, that you have internet access for the gateway, if that's what you want to use. Okay, secure communications, we have messaging applications, Dratus is a case management tool, and you can use it for securing information about an investigation, and then you can share that information among other investigators if that's what you want to do. Encryption, all kinds of encryption tools, stenography, you have all your stay high tools in here, which is really nice. We have the online investigations. We've already gone through some of these tools. But there are additional ones in here. You can look up a phone number, for instance. Dark net, dark web, all that fun stuff that you like to do on the dark web is also available. And you also see that, again, you have access to turn on or off the CSI Tor VPN. Again, we have the normal imaging tools that we need to create a forensic image. But we also have additional tools in here to include autopsy. Again, if you'd like to know more about using these tools, I will be creating some labs for some of the tools, but not a bunch of labs for all the tools. I will be picking and choosing which labs need to be developed for the tools that I find of interest. Okay, let's go down to mobile forensics. And here you got the Android logical imager. So you can do a lot of things in here with Android phones. Now here's another cool feature of this new install. You have VirtualBox and VM Player. What this allows you to do is to create virtual installs inside of CSI Linux. If I have enough RAM and CPU, I could run two or three installations of CSI Linux using VirtualBox or VMware Player. Now here's another neat installation of this latest version of CSI Linux, and that is Threat Intelligence. I can go over here and I can look at live threat maps. So I can look at cyber threat maps. For instance, I like the Kapersky cyber threat map. I can click on this. Now it might take a while for it to open up because it has to use a browser and go out to the internet, but eventually it will open up. So be patient. So there's my browser. And I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And there's the threat map opening up. Now, this is a pretty cool threat map. So you can see exactly where all these threats are coming from in the world. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it here with my scroll wheel. 
And you can also see all the different threats as they occur real time around the world from Russia, wherever. And then you can pop on this and you can enlarge it. And then you can select a location and you can actually start to zoom in. Now, years ago, I used to use this tool to see what was coming toward me. So I would go into this tool and I would look at what's going on in China, what's going on in Russia, what's going on in Europe. Because I knew whatever attack they were being hit with was going to be coming my way within the next two or three weeks. And so with that information, I could prepare. Let's go ahead and close that out. Now, that's not the only threat maps they had up there. So if you look inside of the threat intelligence, you're also going to see that you have threat maps for terrorism threat maps. You have human trafficking maps and resources. And of course, down here at the bottom, you have all the default tools that you would expect with any installation of Linux. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about installing CSI Linux, the latest version, and our little bit of an overview from 35,000 feet of what you can expect to find up inside of the new version of CSI Linux. And though CSI Linux does come with a huge suite of tools they're not always going to be useful so you're going to have to find the top 10 or the top 15 that you find the most useful and you're going to have to become adapted at using those so you got questions you got concerns please don't hesitate to reach out contact your instructor and i'll see you in my next video